Group B strep is a bacteria which many expectant parents have never heard of. But in the UK, as many as 700 babies each year are infected by this bacteria, with 75 dying and a further 40 left with long-term physical or mental problems. Many mothers will be unaware of the fact that they are harboring the bacteria, which is present in 25% of all pregnant women. Group B strep, it was mentioned by... Um, a lady in one of my antenatal swimming classes, she had um, she had a son with it, but he survived. That was the first I'd heard of it, and then the next we heard of it, I think, was in antenatal class, wasn't it? I think, again, it was mentioned once in one of the classes we went to, but very briefly. Um, I think there's a copy of um, this, there's some, there's some, there's some Lara there's some is 35 weeks pregnant. She has come into hospital to have her labour induced early because her previous baby died at the age of 20 minutes from septicemia caused by group B strep bacteria. She was born uh, in June 2003. Um, spontaneous home, unplanned home birth. Um, we were booked in at a hospital and I never actually quite made it. Um, she, was, she came in four hours start to finish. Um, and about 20 minutes later, um, we lost her. To um, we didn't find out until the post mortem, but it was uh, Group B strep, um, that was, or septicemia that was brought on by Group B strep. Most babies born to these women will not show any sign of infection, and it's not yet understood why a small number are affected. Okay, okay, okay thank you. Cheers. Oh, here we go. She's out now. There you go. Say good morning. God. <laughs> the worry about group B strep infection in newborns is that it can present very quickly and progress very rapidly to death in a small group of babies. And that's why, as paediatricians, we worry about it. Um, so it can present as, a, for example, a pneumonia or a septicemia or a meningitis or a combination of all three. And because of the potential speed of onset, and the rapid deterioration that can occur. This is why we worry about babies born to mothers who are known to carry the bacteria. You don't know you're a carrier. You, you, if, if you never had children, you'd never know you're a carrier. So the thing with strep B is the mother is not ill. You, you don't know you've got it. And obviously it, it affects the baby. Don't put that price on your baby's head. Rachel's first baby also died from the infection. Are you left or right-handed? I am right-handed. Okay. This time, Lara wants to ensure that her baby will arrive safely. If a mother is known to be a carrier of Group B strep, there are certain measures that can be taken prior to the birth of the baby. If we find that a woman is a carrier of that organism, then when she's in labour, we advise her to have antibiotics four hourly until the baby's born. And if she has those antibiotics, if we're successful in giving them to her, if her labour is of a length that allows us to do that, then the chance of the baby suffering from any infection is extremely low. Whether or not a mum is given antibiotics at the time of diagnosis, she still requires the antibiotics during labour, and it's only the antibiotics during labour that have been shown to reduce the risk to the baby. And really there isn't very much risk to the mum, so we're not treating mum for a benefit to the mum. The treatment of Group B strap is all about the benefit to the baby. Would you like vodka and tonic or gin and tonic? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, a cup of tea would be nice on drip at the moment. If labour is too fast and the mother has not received enough doses of the antibiotics, they can be given to the baby immediately after it is born. When I lost my first baby, strep B was detected and nothing was done about it. Rachel was 15 when her first baby died from Group B strep. Being so young, I wasn't... I didn't know how to deal with it and, and thought, well, would that come back again? I didn't think like that, but I was young. We know that approximately 15 to 20% of women carry Group B strep, um, but that an individual who might be carrying Group B strep might be positive for Group B strep one week and negative the next. And for this, reading, for this reason, there is a vigorous debate on whether screening for Group B strep in pregnancy is worth it or not. Some countries like the US of A and Australia do, and um, we currently don't. Unless you've lost a baby, you, 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 can't, con you can't contemplate what, what it's like. Um, now, 
my first one would be 12 this year. And them 12 years doesn't make it easier. Not at all. Not at all. So get it done. Get the test. Ask for the test. Mm -hmm. Currently in the UK, there are no routine screenings for this bacteria, but women who are concerned can have the screening done privately. The test itself is simple to perform and can be done by the mother herself. Swabs are taken from both vagina and rectum and sent off to a laboratory. The test takes one week for the results to come back. There is a Group B strap support society who are excellent and uh, are campaigning for wider screening. The more people that ask, the chances are they will make it a routine screening. So if you're concerned about the bacteria, be sure to ask for advice from your midwife or obstetrician. Lara and Rob had a healthy five pound, 15 ounces baby boy, who they called Jake. 